Now, why would I name this show Nasty Teachers? For a long time now, we've always known that men have always been held accountable for their actions, meaning that I don't agree with the most of the stuff that we see happening. I absolutely hate when I see older, older, older men talking to younger, younger, like they just skirting the, skirting the curb when it comes to the women that they talking to. All right? Can't stand it. But I've been seeing way more, way more women getting arrested, being brought to the front of the congregation, finding themselves getting, busting down young guys. And so we got a, a, a few different stories that we got to go, because it was all coming to me at the same time. And I said, what? Trafficking, talking to young bulls. I mean, I don't know how many different stories that I've done with these older women getting involved with these young guys. It's a lot. It's a lot. So we want to bring them to the front of the congregation today. And we're going to start with this young woman, all right? And she's charged not only with being with a young guy, but she also let him use her gun for a drive-by shooting. You can't make this up. Don't sit here and tell me that y'all the prize, that y'all got all of these high standards. When you so desperate that you talking to a young bull and you letting him use your gun in the drive-by shooting, Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Let's get into it. Big story at six, a woman who worked in a Milwaukee public school is accused of having an intimate relationship with a 16-year-old student and letting him use her gun in a drive-by shooting. This one is a Saria Salen is live at Milwaukee County Jail tonight where 30-year-old Oshai Williams is being held on several charges. Saria investigators say the student told them this relationship went on for months. Christian Patrick, according to the criminal complaint, Williams met the 16 year old student at Marshall High School. He says she taught him Spanish. They started hanging out after school and one thing led to another. Investigators say this woman, 30 year old Oshai Williams, worked here at Marshall High School where she met a 16 year old boy and they became romantically involved. According to the criminal complaint, investigators discovered the relationship while investigating a drive-by shooting on February 1st at 27th an hour. The investigators discovered the relationship. Think about this for a second. It never would have been uncovered. It never would have been brought to the front of the congregation had investigators not been investigating a drive-by shooting. But you got to hear the rest, y'all. This is this is real. This is not made up. This is a real thing. Listen. We went to Checkers, got something to eat. Then shots just came out of nowhere. It just would not stop. It was just going all through my house. Like I had to get on top of my kids in a time. The woman who lived in that home, too shaken up to go on camera, she still does not know why someone randomly fired into her house. You've never heard of these people? Never in my life. Never. According to the criminal complaint, Williams told Milwaukee police the 16 year old boy got a phone call she thought was a taunt about shots being fired into her own home a few days earlier. The boy told her to drive to 28th an hour. When they got there, he pulled her loaded Glock out of her purse and started shooting out the passenger window. Then it finally stopped. God gave me strength to run outside to say stop. Wrong house or what? During that investigation, a Bureau of Child Welfare official interviewed the 16 year old. He told them he and William started hanging out after school at her house. He said the relationship turned intimate and they had been dating several months. And Saria, how is the district responding tonight? Kristen MPS tells me she was never an employee of the Milwaukee Public School District. She was a contract worker on the MPS website. She is still listed as an elevated Spanish classroom coach at Marshall High School. All right, Saria so Sandlin reporting live in Milwaukee. Thank you. So imagine this, y'all. Imagine this. Not only is she in an intimate relationship with a 16 year old boy. The boy takes a pistol, grabs it out of her purse, start firing shots at the wrong house. The lady had to come out and say, hey, 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 you got the wrong house. First of all, 
you got some balls on you to go outside when somebody is shooting into your crib. Secondly, you shooting at the wrong house. And then third, you shooting at the wrong house with the wrong gun from a teacher that you shouldn't even be with in the first place. And then when they took him down, he was like, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to tell you everything. This is what happened. She was teaching me Spanish. Oh, no hablo espanol. And uh, mi amore. Oscar Quita. Buenos años. Si, en Pocani. Oscar Quita. Buenos años. Si, en Ah, mi amor, es conistane. We got a little sticky sticky. Yeah, she taught me the es punomnecano. She taught me the nasty words. They said, what words you know? Sticky sticky, licky licky. <laughs> yeah, he got in there. They was like, listen, you facing 25 to life. He was like, listen, I give her up. I give her up. I give her up. I spin in Yano. It's coming to me now. Kind of Stasi. Anastasio. Brandon Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, man. These chicks is out here with nose rings and they out here finessing your son. Watch your kid when your kid keeps saying, Oh, I need to stay home from school. Every day you stand home from school. They might be going to get her pistol to go do a drive-by. I'm just saying. So, that's what's happening over in Milwaukee. A little licky, licky, sticky, sticky over there. Some Espanola and some Spanish food and some Mexican food. Hey, ah, caramba. Ese, arriba. But that's not all. That's not all. It gets worse. I, I have to tell you, it gets much, much worse. Not only is this happening over in Milwaukee and all across the country, we just ain't found y'all yet. It gets even worse. So Kendria and Roger is being accused of basically sex trafficking. Both the son and I believe, and I believe the mother is finessing kids. Y'all got to check this out. News now shocking allegations against a Klein Kane high school teacher. She is accused of trafficking students along with her son. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with the facts we have so far about this troubling case. Jessica. Yeah, we've learned this teacher was arrested just before five this evening at Klein Kane High School, taken to the district police department and then brought here to the Harris County Jail. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says so far there are three teen victims, ages 15, 16 and 17, all female students and runaways. He says more students have already come forward, though, saying she tried to recruit them as well into prostitution. Tonight, disturbing allegations against a Klein ISD teacher. Kedria Grigsby now charged with three counts of child trafficking and three counts of compelling prostitution. The 42 year old, a cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School. According to Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, investigators believe she recruited troubled teens from local high schools by offering them a place to stay. And she did it, he said, alongside her son, 21 year old Roger McGee, who is also under arrest. Klein Kane's principal tonight sent a message to families notifying them of the arrest, clearly stunned by the allegations. Quote, let us be clear, any behavior harming children is deplorable. And appealing to parents, quote, please speak to your children about this matter. And if you have information, please report it to Klein ISD police. The district has not disclosed how long she's been a teacher there, but according to Klein Kane's online cosmetology course information, she runs the program. Building people up and watching them soar is her passion, a slide says, also sharing several family photos. The school says she will never be allowed at any Klein ISD schools again. With potentially more victims, more charges are possible. So, not only did you have one over there going doing the licky, licky, sticky, sticky, you had Mrs. Grigsby out here finessing the kids out here in Houston. Yo, imagine sending your kid to school. You already ain't got no money. You already broke. You already out here under duress. And your kid is now being recruited 
to be a sex worker, which is probably going to follow them for the rest of their life. And they being done through the son, too. So you got a mama that's pimping her son out and using him as a mule in order to recruit a bunch of other girls to come and bust it down for a real one. In high school, this is the wild things that you guys have to be aware of because we don't want our children to be taken advantage of. The only question that I then have Hmm, I'm going to have to check that out, Tyler Reed. I'll be looking at that shortly. The only question that I have is, how much time is she going to get? Because we know that guys, we know that guys get the book thrown at them. How much time is she going to get? Just curious. Look, most of the articles that come across my desk for inappropriate teachers and this is just the honest to God truth, are women. Are women. And this is not even wild. I'll tell you this, it's not unheard of. And I'm just assuming that maybe young guys today is a little bit different and that they're willing to tell and say what's going on and stuff like this, but it's not unheard of for teachers, and it was always rumors and a lot of different places, I'm not going to say nothing like that or whatever, because it can't, I don't know how to substantiate it to be true or not. But this is not unheard of on both sides for young girls to be talking to and getting busted down by an older teacher and for young boys to be busting down their female teachers. You know, these are the things that we need to really have an uncomfortable conversation in our community about because we always keep talking about gender reaffirming, sex transplants, and what you identify and pronouns, but we don't go back to the core of why these people find themselves in this situation in the first place.